Konnichiwa, Amina-san. Hello, everyone. This is Black Bear 7, otherwise known right here as Shadow. Welcome back to Modern Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Today is July 30, 2012, the fourth day of the 2012 Summer Olympic Games. Returning from a slightly exhausting yesterday, only one Olympic event awaits us. It is a rather long event, and it is an event returning from the original Modern Sonic at the Olympic Games, Table Tennis. Once again, I'll be choosing my character choice, Shadow. The controls remain almost the same with the rear mode acting as a virtual paddle. This time around, however, you cannot drop shot or smash at any time. I will show later how smashes come. Swinging the rear mode while pressing the B button will now perform the character's special smash, but only when your character is flashing. I will show and explain more as we proceed to this event. Alongside fencing, Excel London is the venue for table tennis. The event is organized as a four-way tournament bracket as we have an interesting cast here. Shadow takes on Tails as Sonic takes on Yoshi. There is a chance that we will see the classic duel between Sonic and Shadow in table tennis, and let's hope we'll see that. Anyway, let's focus now on the match between Shadow and Tails, but first, the introductions of these two widely recognized characters. Shadow! Tails! The match is in the best of three games, each game won with five points. So, here we go. Shadow and Tails face off for an opportunity to win a gold. And that was perfect serve earlier, which can be simply done by hitting the ball once the ball flashes following the toss. And we have an easy going rally so far, but a well timed smash by Shadow earns him the first point in this match. Once again, unlike the original Mart Song Libby games, you can't not smash at will. Smashes can only be done from receiving a very slow ball and returning the ball when as far back as possible. So the score is 1-0 as Shadow serves the ball once more. And that perhaps is the cheapest point the CB can earn as Tails ties the game. Yes, that unexpected return still counts, or the ball still bounces on the table even, that, even if that means on the edge of the table. So the rally continues, but early in the rally, Tails unleashes his special smash, hoping to score a point, but Shadow easily returns the ball. Tails gets a chance to smash, but Shadow easily returns the ball, continuing the rally. The rally continues further as Shadow decides to unleash his special smash, but Tails returns it, continuing the rally. The rally speeds up, and Tails misses. Shadow earns another point, 2 to 1. Since this is table tennis, I remember an article I read lately about the Summer Olympic events that the United States has never meddled. And uh, before I continue, Tails fires his special smash once again, but the rally continues. Returning back to what I was saying, there are three Summer Olympic events in which the United States never won a medal. And as Shadow earns his third point from that misfire by Tails, guess one of three events in which the United States has yet to win a medal. And for those of you still pondering there, I will give you a hint. You are facing the answer right now. And yes, that is table tennis. As Shadow has his game point, yes, believe it or not, the United States has never meddled in table tennis. Anyway, returning to the game, we have an easy-going rally once again, but Tails fires a special smash once more, hoping to delay Shadow's game point, but the rally continues. That was almost another instant point by Tails as the ball bounced off the edge of the table. And fortunately, Tails fires off the table and Shadow wins his first game. Changing the subject once again to the article I read recently, the two other Summer Olympic Games uh, some, I'm sorry, Summer Olympic events that the United States never medal in are badminton, which we'll have here later, and handball. So we, have, we start the next game, but Tails launches his special smash again with hopes to recover lost ground, but the ever-spinning rally continues. Shadow responds with his own smash, but Tails returns it. Following that smash, the rally increases speed, but Tails misses and Shadow leads again one to nothing. Table tennis in the Summer Olympics and in general, as some of you might witness, is dominated by players from Southeast Asia, most especially from China. So we have an easygoing rally so far as there goes Tails again relying on his special smash to try to get back in the game, but Shadow remains impenetrable as the rally continues. 
Shadow makes a good return there, but unfortunately again for Tails, he is too late to return that ball and that gives Shadow his second point in this game. As almost all of you have seen on TV or live, table tennis with the best players competing is a sport of incredible speed, control, and reflexes. It looks quite similar to play, but it is difficult to master. So Tails again unleashes his special smash against Shadow, but it remains futile as Shadow is seemingly unshaken by the quick strike. The rally increases the speed as Shadow makes a well-timed smash, only for Tails to return. Tails responds back with his own, but Shadow also returns it. And following that hit, Tails misses, unfortunately, as the score becomes 3-0 in favor of Shadow. Mr. Koji Yusa provides Shadow's Japanese voice since Sonic Adventure 2, and Miss Ryo Hiyashi provides Tails' voice since Sonic X. And it seems all Tails' hopes of singing the tournament seem to be likely on his frequently very frequent and perhaps desperate special smashes, but they were all futile as Shadow maintains a rock solid upper hand. The rally continues as Tails returns with a good smash there. And uh, he cannot reach that far, returned by Shadow. And the ultimate life form needs only one point to finally secure his spot in the finals. One game one, one more point to win. This is Shadow's match point. Sonic's two-tailed best friend has little hope left as Shadow remains unfazed and dominant. There goes Tails firing a special smash once more, but Shadow forces the rally to continue. And following that stroke there by Tails, Shadow unleashes his special smash, hoping to close the deal, and he does. Here is the replay of the final point once more, as Tails' chance to win the goal are quickly and unfortunately drained. Shadow moves up the bracket and is one step closer to win another gold, and I hope we are still. We all are still hoping that Sonic will do Shadow in what will be perhaps a destined duel for the gold. Once again, Shadow defeats Tails two games to one as the semifinals of Table Tennis finishes. And, uh, well, it seems our wishes came true as Sonic takes the other spot in the finals. So, this is it. Who is the dominant hedgehog in Table Tennis? Let's go back down now for their introductions. Shadow! The rules remain the same in this game. So Sonic duels Shadow in a three-game match. Each game is won by reaching five points. We have an easy-going rally so far between these two rivals who are almost equal in ability but strongly differ in personality. The rally remains easy-going as Shadow fires a strong smash, which Sonic returns but aims out of bounds. Here's a quick replay of the return again. Shadow deals the first hit, 1-0. Mr. Junichi Kanemaru provides Sonic's Japanese voice since Sonic Adventure. He is indeed, and I'm not being sarcastic here, fluent in English as often he makes Sonic say certain lines in English. A former English teacher, he still has quite a subtle accent that is still understandable. And earlier, Sonic fires his special smash at Shadow, but Shadow still keeps a good duel. Now Shadow launches his own special smash, which Sonic easily returns, and the rally intensifies. And uh, after a quick rally there, Sonic quickly replies back with another special smash, but Shadow returns it, and the rally continues to be climactic. A good chance to smash by Sonic ends up as a badly aimed return as Shadow leads with another point to nil. It is now Sonic's turn to serve, and once again the CPU is still set to the hardest difficulty, so endure some very long and perhaps very intense rallies these next several minutes. The rally quickens as the two hedgehogs battle seemingly coolly, and a well-timed smash by Shadow earns him another point over Sonic. That was a slow ball given by Sonic, so Shadow takes advantage of that to wind in his lead 3 to nothing. Both hedgehogs flashing, they are ready to fire at each other their respective special smashes whenever it is the perfect time. And after that hit by Shadow there, Sonic fires his special smash early in the rally, hopefully to throw Shadow off, but Shadow easily returns it and the rally continues. Both hedgehogs are focused on outmatching each other, and a badly time stroke by Sonic costs him another point. Shadow leads for nothing. 
the ball returns to Shadow and it is now game point for Shadow. Now personally, I don't use my special smash until the rally is fast enough. Besides, the special smash is harder to return when used during fast rallies. Sonic tries to throw off his rival once more, but Shadow returns it. And there goes Sonic with the quick dive there to remain in the game. Shadow takes advantage of Sonic's near miss to win the game with a special smash, but Sonic was ready. The rally becomes a little more interesting, but the blue blur misaims his return, costing him another point and a game to Shadow. Ball in hand, Sonic starts the next game as Shadow leads one game to nothing. Once again, the two hedgehogs play coolly, especially Sonic who is now trying to regain his lost ground. Sonic fires the first special smash in the game, only for Shadow to return it and force the rally to continue. And following the stroke by Sonic, Shadow then forces his own special smash, but Sonic easily returns it, continuing the rally. The two return back and forth, but Sonic fails to react quickly on that shot, costing him another point. Shadow leads one and do nothing. Mistakes are costing Sonic the match so far as he starts the rally second serve, and the rally begins once again. Sonic thinks now is the time, so he fires his special smash, but Shadow returns the ball with ease. The rally continues. And with the smash already, Shadow quickly responds back with his special smash of his own, which Sonic returns with ease, and the rally continues to increase in speed. And a quick rally there so far as Sonic fires a special smash once more, hoping that this will finally throw up Shadow, but Shadow still keeps the game going. Now Shadow's ready to use final smash and fires his second smash too, but Sonic keeps the game going. And Sonic missing his return once again, costing another point as he is behind by two points. And I think I said final smash there earlier, maybe too much influence on Smash Brothers so far. So Sonic launches his special smash again, which ends up easily returned by Shadow and the rally once again gradually increases in speed. Sonic vs Shadow, one of my favorite rivalries in fiction and the rivalry that made this video game series my most favorite in the first place. As the rally continues, Shadow is ready to fire his smash open and Makes a good smash there. However, Sonic launches a special smash first, which ends up massive but is returned by Shadow. And in retaliation, Shadow unleashes his own special smash, but Sonic returns it, and the game continues until Sonic misaims his stroke once again. Shadow winds his lead 3 to nothing. As I was saying earlier, it wasn't until the release of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle when I finally liked the Sonic the Hedgehog series of games. Before that, I grew up playing Crash Bandicoot and Spiral the Dragon on the first PlayStation, my first video game console. And returning the game, Sonic fires a good smash, but he failed. But then he, so Shadow, so I'm sorry, Shadow uh, makes a good return, and that was a massive smash there by Shadow. Looking at the replay once more, Sonic gave a weak return, granting Shadow an opportunity to score another point. Sonic chances Sonic's chances of victory falling as Shadow needs only one more point to win. Anyway, returning from what I was saying as Shadow seeks to close the game, the first Sonic game that I got since I got my Nintendo GameCube in 2002 was not Sonic Adventure 2 Battle but Sonic Heroes. I got Sonic Adventure 2 Battle about a year later. And anyway, failed return by Sonic gives Shadow an easy final point to win the last game 5 to nothing. And a one-sided victory over Sonic makes Shadow the superior hedgehog in table tennis, although some of you might refute, and the gold medalist. Sonic, of course, will take the silver. Here are the final results once more. However, let's go to the award ceremony now to meet our finalist and the winner between Tails and Yoshi for the bronze medal. Just let it! Gold medal! Shadow! Hidetsunai! Tails defeats Yoshi to win bronze in table tennis. Anyway, that concludes today as three of the most recognizable faces in the Sonic the Hedgehog series made it to the podium. Thank you all who joined me today. Catch the 2012 Summer Olympics in London on TV, on the internet, or on any other form of media that broadcasts it. 
Once again, this is Blackbird 7, otherwise known around here as Shadow commentating for you all. Until tomorrow, sayonara.